it's not just a little cold outside for that some of us. Freezing. I have no sleeves. Many of us waking up to <laughs> freezing temperatures, we thought it might be a little nice to spend some time in a warmer climate. On the Grenadine Islands, the average temperature, 81 uh, degrees. Oh, that's where our weekend window opens this morning in high definition. When you hear the word Caribbean, it brings up these pictures in your mind of the white sand beaches, the laid back atmosphere, mangoes, coconuts. The image that the Caribbean brings into your head, I think is exactly what the Grenadines is, the way the Caribbean was 40 years ago. The Grenadines stretches from Young Island down to Petit St. Vincent, 32 islands and keys. When people see it for the first time, they're, they're amazed. They can't believe that there's any place on Earth that still looks like that. Sort of like a, a fairy tale story. You know, all the colors, um, the, the boats that are in there. There's something about it, and it's very hard to describe, that just attracts people. People just tend to love it. Myro's actually one of the smallest inhabited islands in, in the Grenadines. It has three spectacular beaches, but the most spectacular by far is the one at Salt Whistle Bay. It's that perfect crescent shape, fringed with uh, swaying palms. You can't really ask for much more than that. The clarity of the water, that's what truly makes it amazing. A yachtsman's paradise. The Tobago Keys is made up of four main islands and a fifth one a little further out. It's the quintessential, absolute, ultimate away from it all. It's uninhabited, there are no bars, there are no restaurants, no one lives there. It is absolutely unspoiled. It's an absolute pleasure to get up every morning. I do, after all, live on one of the most beautiful places on the face of this earth.